let's call this driving for example okay and now uh, I'm going to link uh, I'm going to link the position of this control to the rotation of the eye more or less the same kind of thing we've done before open up uh, okay. Open up the reaction manager again. Add the control again as master. X and Y. Y position. Okay. And now add the bone as slave. Okay, and as you see now in rotation, uh, it changes. Uh, we don't have. Uh, X, Y, and C rotation directly, but we have uh, the list that we've set up. And as, as I say, uh, as, as I said, I'm going to use driving. So select here X rotation. And well, I think. Set this to local. Uh, I added first the x-axis, so I'm doing this round. I should have added this one to the upper. So, right, let's add the x and the y-axis of this control. The right eye control as masters. And it's a shame that you can't uh, distinguish between these two once you have added them I don't really know uh, and you can't you can't change the name of the of this controller I've, I've tried but so you have to sort of remember the, the order in which you added them and as I added the x-axis first well I first going to check the axis of this bone uh, so as you see, this x-axis is pointing upwards, so I'm going to add it as, as a slave for the x movement of the control. Uh, set up, rotation, the driving, x rotation, and now set the rotation in the other. Driving, c rotation. And now set, I'm going to set all the proper states here. As you see, uh, also the fact that we have added uh, this other uh, this other controller below has uh, zeroed out uh, the rotation of the of the controller. Up of this driving that we've added uh, after, and this will also make it more comfortable. You will see later, especially when um, when we are binding the rotation in the eyelid to the rotation of the eye. So let's set up all this. I think we're moving forward to a point where I've set up all of this because you've done it before. So, okay, I'm going to stop, pause the video, and go on when I've got all of this ready. Well, I also forgot that you have to set active uh, in this, in the controller that you are trying to modify because if not, you won't be able to see any changes as you enter edit mode and try to adjust it okay I'm done with the eyes look at it <laughs> it's good uh, and now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind these other controls uh, we created before 
to the eyelid bones the same way that I that I did uh, with the eyeballs. Uh, I told you, I think I told you that we will also make the eyes affect the eyelid bones movement, uh, so that it stays. Uh, the eyelids stay relative to the pupil, but uh, I feel like doing the eyelids uh, control uh, separated first because I want to adjust the skinning waist first of all. Uh, it's going to happen the same thing that with the bones around the lips. Uh, we still haven't touched the weight um, around the eyes, uh, so we will need to tweak or skinning uh, so the mesh moves along with the bones of the eyelids. So okay, let's open again the reaction manager and add these two guys here as uh, masters. And again, transform position X position and Y position. The X position is going to control um, the lower eyelids and the up position is going to control the upper. Okay, I think we're done with this one and move on to the other. Position, X position. Oh, I think I added that slave. Sorry. X position and Y position, right. Now add the eyelids as slaves. Um, we have to do uh, the same thing that we did before. So let's bind, let's add a, a slave, set up, oh I forgot it, uh, we also have to set up the list uh, of controllers as we did before with the eyes. So I'll come over here, set up, rotation, add a rotation list, add Another guy here. I rename this properly. Let's call this setup and this other Ivan. And the same with all of them. I've got all my controllers set up and now I'm adding again these guys as slaves. So it's okay. For the X axis, I said I was I was driving the lower eyelid. So as slave, select the lower eyelid, set up, rotation, drive in and C rotation. And again for the upper Eyelid setup rotation driving C rotation again and the same thing for the other side. Add this guy no no first the lower with the X axis of the control rotation driving. Okay, I've got everything. And now, uh, let's let's start 
adding some states here. Okay, I'm going to set two more states here. Minus point five, one point five, and one point five, and for minus one point five. I'm going to rotate this guy up to the middle. Uh, uh, but we can't really see what's happening here. Uh, we need to start uh, adjusting our weights, our skinning, in order to be able to see all of this, all of this, right? But well, I I do it more or less with uh, right now, and then uh, I will tweak the skinning and then go back and tweak my state, so everything is working all right. Edit this guy. And this is dead, will be one point five. Uh, set this to local. Now, okay, that's it. You have to select, have the state well selected to be able to edit it. Okay, and it again, and now move it down, all the way down, okay, great.